Day. From MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. It's the AFC Divisional Round Playoffs on EA Sports. It's the New York Jets. Taking on the L.A. Chargers. It's the NFL playoffs on EA Sports. No bigger stage than this one. Sold out MetLife Stadium, located just outside of New York City. Straight ahead, we punch the second of two tickets to the AFC title game, and we've got a great one in store between the Los Angeles Chargers and the New York Jets. Jet offense as they get ready to take over. And a look here at their signal caller, the fifth-year quarterback. And he and his team, they were the beneficiaries of a first-round bye earned by a tremendous regular season. He'd been a little bit nicked up so he could use the rest, and I'm sure his teammates felt the exact same way. But now it'll be interesting to watch their first few drives in this one because sometimes getting the rest is great, but sometimes you accumulate a little bit of rust as well. Maybe they come out flat, and they can't afford that in the postseason. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. He's got a man complete. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Corey Davis, 75 yards. And the Jets are on the board first here in this division round matchup. Well, this has been a quick strike offense all season long, finding many different ways to manufacture big plays. They had a big playoff preview today in the papers, and it was about who would set the tone. Well, they just set the tone right there. their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He's off to a hot start, completing his lone throw for the long touchdown pass on that last drive. And they'll try again here with a first down. start this drive out on the ground. Trying to find some space to operate, and now they'll have it. A gain of 12, a big first down to get away from the end zone. Well, so much for being backed up against their goal line to start the drive. He gave some breathing room, and then some. I think the defense really got caught thinking safety, trying to stack the line of scrimmage. And oftentimes, if you can get past the initial grouping, there's a lot of room to run. The defense actually fortunate that didn't go farther. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. 10 yards is the pickup. Good enough for a Jet first down. Looking to throw. Henry. Going right back to Wilson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. To throw on second down. Henry, quick slant, caught by Moore. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive. It comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, 
Yeah, he might be locked in for this one. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. 23 yards on the tuck and run. And that is a historic run for him, partner. With that pickup, he just broke Lamar Jackson's 2019 record for most yards in a season by a quarterback. No one has done it better across a 16 or a 17 game. That's to Davis. He's got it. Touchdown, New York. Corey Davis. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Jets lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You just mentioned how they got it done. They scored. The defense got the ball back for them. They score again. That's the way you win ball games. offense back out he's got two touchdown passes on his first two drives and he'll try again here on drive three they'll start this drive out on the ground oh he's got a little daylight yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 48 yards rushing for him now in his first two carries of the ball game. Sometimes those lines that are drawn on a grease board or in a playbook, they come to life <laughs> out on the field, don't they? And we just saw that on that outside handoff to the right. That right tackle, he gets excited for that call, doesn't he? He does, because he just wants to dominate his guy and say, listen, I was the point of attack. I took care of business. That's why you're able to get downfield and add all those yards to your total. Yeah, really nice gain there. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Ball again. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. On first and ten, Henry. And he will find his man on the outside. And out of bounds, all the way down at the three. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Well, this is a defense that's definitely on their heels now because they gave up the running play for good yardage one play ago. Now the pass here sets this offense up first and goal. They're going to have to dig in strong now because they've been in retreats. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Brees Hall, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Jets go up by two touchdowns. You talk about rookies having big statistical years. He had a boatload of these in the regular season, more than one per game, and now he has his first here in the playoffs. And we know the guys on the other side of the field were hoping that he would be intimidated by playing in the postseason, but they can just let that go because he's as confident as they come. And I know that he believes that that's the first of many playoff touchdowns that he's going to have as his career progresses. a field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. They've got the lead. He's a big reason why. Looking sharp so far. And as we travel around the league, we see quarterbacks get it done in a variety of ways. But today's NFL does tell us one thing. If that guy doesn't play well, <laughs> their team's not going to win. And right now, he's got his team in the lead. And yeah, now they'll look to extend that lead. Throwing to start the drive. Henry. That is caught. It's Uzama. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 
Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. A very nice job right there, working the middle of the field, able to create some separation and then utilize it to not just make the catch, but turn up field once he got the ball in his hands. A handoff for Hall. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 16 more on that one and another first down. And this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Here's Hall again. And he'll be taken down after a pickup of about seven as the clock will stop here for the two-minute warning. Looking to throw on second down. Henry steps away to his left. And that is caught. It's Davis. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up for the first and goal. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Operating from the gun, Henry. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. The line of scrimmage once again the five as they get ready for second and goal. Operating from the gun, Henry. Flushed out right. Touchdown! Corey Davis on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Jets continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. So not only is that his third touchdown catch of the game, he's done it here in the first half. I'm not sure defensively what they're going to come up with to slow him down because already we're seeing him run past, over, through guys in order to make these catches. And being able to try and shut him down at this stage of the game, it's going to take a lot of effort. So maybe it'll open things up for some other people. Well, they better figure something out and soon. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He had the touchdown pass on their previous drive, and they'll search for another score as they begin here with a first and ten. Throwing to start the drive. Henry. He's going to look deep for more. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way in, touchdown, New York. Elijah Moore, 75 yards. And the Jets will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Well, that is certainly a deflator right there defensively. Their guys just came off of a touchdown drive. They're back in the game, and then bam, they give up a touchdown one play later. How about that? And the momentum, which seemingly had shifted the other direction, thought we might be seeing a comeback. <laughs> that momentum right back the other way. But well, that is certainly not complimentary football that we saw right there. The defense is supposed to help their offense, not give up another touchdown. So here's the Jets offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. 
Well, they got to be thrilled with how they've operated so far in this one. They've got the nice lead, and now a chance to score here on three straight possessions. Yeah, and the way that they are rolling, I just don't know how they get slowed down because they certainly are operating at peak efficiency right now. They might want to think about giving some of their backups a little bit of work, though. Let some other guys get on the field and do their thing and save some of this for the next time out. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to Huddle feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal shut it down for two yards or less that's when you start to feel good about yourselves all again on second down and he'll get up to the 43 yard line 95 yards rushing for him now in the ball game as he is trying to will his guys to the championship round next weekend well that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was handed it to their guy who could run it created some space and he got there First down, Henry. Gonna look deep for Wilson. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown, Jets. Garrett Wilson, 57 yards. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. So, my man, another touchdown. They're looking like the number one seed that they earned throughout the year. Looking pretty dominant right now. We knew the road to the Super Bowl would run right through this stadium. Somebody's going to have to come in here and beat these guys. Good luck. I don't think it's happening this weekend. No, definitely not this weekend. And for anyone else out there, bring your game. Buyer, beware. set to take the field still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and ten start this drive out on the ground and not much to speak of call it a one yard gain up to the 26 they'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here and if it's a long play so be it but the main goal get a couple of first downs run some plays run some clock allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score it'll be a pickup of 16 and a jet first down yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Throwing on first down. Henry. Oh, he's going up top for Wilson. It got his man complete. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Garrett Wilson with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Jets are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Jet offense now they head out to take over and it would appear that that first round by certainly helped they've looked fresh from the start and no let down here as they lead big in this divisional round and they look to book a spot in the conference championship On 
on first and ten. Henry. Leaping and he makes the grab. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. On first down, Henry. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. 23 yards on the tuck and run. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 34. Buying time to his left. Looking left sideline, it's complete. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Open man here is Conklin. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third and two, Henry. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. So still throwing here in the fourth quarter with a pretty sizable lead. And now that lead even more sizable. And if nothing else here, CD, a chance to pile on some stats before this one wraps up. And he did just that. Brandon Convention tells us it's time for them to get off the gas a little bit, right? But you and I both know the receivers don't want them to because... As you noted, this is their chance to pile on the stats. If they got their way, they try to get every single spot in the depth chart points before this game is over. And New York set to take the field. If they can finish this one out, they'll book a date in the AFC title game next Sunday. And it looks good so far as they try to run some clock here in this fourth quarter. Throwing on first down, Henry. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Back to throw. Henry. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Coming up on a second and six. Looking to throw. 
Henry. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. He'll air this one out deep for Davis and give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. Well, they certainly have the look of a team with something to prove, don't they? All week, as we prepared for this game, we kept reading about how they said they're going to play a full 60 minutes this week. Has nothing to do with their opponent. No disrespect intended, but they wanted to be people of their word, playing this thing all the way out, trying to finish it strong. and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Jets as we say so long from MetLife Stadium.